Hello everybody, Uh, it's Chris Yost here at Wesley, and today we're looking at Luke's Gospel chapter 6, picking up at verse 20. And this is Luke's equivalent of the Beatitudes that we find in Matthew's Gospel. And uh, um, anyway, as I'm reading today, I'm going to go through and read a line, and then I'm going to pause for just a few seconds, give you a minute to take in what you've heard, then we'll move on to the next line. Listen now for a good word. Then Jesus looked up his, at his disciples and said, Blessed are you who are poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you who are hungry now, for you will be filled. Blessed are you who weep now, for you will laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you and when they exclude you, revile you, and defame you on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice in that day and leap for joy. For surely your reward is great in heaven, for that is what their ancestors did to the prophets. But woe to you who are rich, for you have your consolation. Woe to you who are full now, for you will be hungry. Woe to you who are laughing now, for you will mourn and weep. Woe to you when all speak well of you, for that is what their ancestors did to the false prophets. So in this section, um, in Luke's Gospel and the New Revised Standard Version, they have it labeled blessings and woes. A lot of what the kingdom of God is doing is um, kind of reorienting uh, the focus of our lives. Um. Uh, For the person whose life is simply bound up in um, either material possessions or the fullness of the belly or um, making light of life, Um, you know, things aren't always going to be that way. Um, There is a reckoning that does occur. Um, And in the top half uh, of this reading, there's the blessing. And again, this is counter to what the Jewish teaching of um, the retribution theory, I think I mentioned that yesterday, uh, what the retribution theory is all about. Um, And you will hear this. Uh, I guarantee if you listen to the news or listen to general conversation, you'll hear people talk about the poor as though they've done something wrong or as though uh, they deserved it or it was the will of God. Um, And the same thing for the other way around. But in the kingdom of God, That's not the way it works, friends. As a matter of fact, in Luke's gospel, it says, Blessed are you who are poor. Some of you may recall in hearing that, that in Matthew's gospel, there's a word added, right? In Matthew's gospel, it says, Blessed are you who are um, poor, those of you who hunger for uh, righteousness. Um, It spiritualizes a lot of things, but that's not the way it is in Luke's gospel. Uh, It is the poor. Uniquely with them, it is that they must depend upon God. There is no consolation for them other than God. And for those of you rich or poor or in between, if God is your consolation, then you are among the blessed. Uh, The other thing is, is if you're seeking um, the honoring of your fellow humanity as your number one objective, um, enjoy it while you got it, because that's not the way it is. Uh, in in heaven. Uh, anyway, next week we're going to be picking up for with uh, more of these readings. They're Luke's equivalent to the Beatitudes and to the uh, Sermon on the Mount, and uh, it's good. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for this word, and thank you, God, for a reminder that shocks us out of our day in and day out lives. Um, that your gospel does call us uh, to be different people, to be different kinds of people, not chasing after the same things that perhaps others value, um, but rather to appreciate them for what they are, their tools, their gifts uh, that we can use for your glory and for the betterment of your fellow, uh, our fellow humanity. 
Lord, I pray for those who are hearing these words today and may your living word speak to them. In Jesus' name, amen.